So Tony, Tony, walk us through your round today. Started off great. Uh, our pretty much our game plan was just to get the ball and play both of us on every hole and get you know get two birdie putts on every hole and that pretty much that was pretty much the story all day and we had a had a putt on every hole and uh, I happened to make most of mine so it turned out to be a good one. Yeah, eight birdies. Walk us. I mean, how's that feel going in the last round and and hitting eight birdies right off the go and playing so well? My I told my caddy I promised him nine, so I'm kind of bummed I missed that last one. But um, no, it was. I mean, all we knew we were in the middle of the pack. We just wanted to make as many birdies as we could. Our target was to get to nine under as a team today, and we ended up nine under on the day. So that was pretty much right where we wanted to be. So what do you take away from this? With you know going into today, I know you talked about your goals for what you wanted to do, and you know, it, looking right now, you're at. You're in third, I believe, in the overall and second in the men's. And I know you're tied for first for the birdies, so pretty good round gets you a good spot. So talk about that if you want to. Yeah, I, honestly, I had three birdies after seven holes, so I kind of started feeling, you know, maybe maybe it'll, maybe it'll start coming. And um, I missed a short one on nine, which I was kind of bummed about that. But I got a couple of – made a couple of really good up and downs on the on the back nine and then I made a long one on 15, and I started about a 40-foot on 15 – birdie so I started thinking about you know maybe three holes to go maybe I could sneak in a couple more and, and get in the hunt so it's getting close we'll see what happens so what exactly clicked did anything click or did just things start happening Not, I hit my irons really bad yesterday and I still managed to make four four birdies my putting was really good yesterday so I, I knew if I just gave myself a lot of opportunities I'd probably make a bunch so I hit it a lot close today a lot of you know five ten footers of birdie especially on the front nine and then back nine it's just got it a little bit closer a couple of times so I knew as long as I gave myself chances I'd make those putts and and a lot of things clicked on my iron shots so that was that was definitely key for for me today so talk about your experience playing here in the big 12s and if that helped you with with you know knowing the locations of the pins and how they set the course up does that help you with that yeah I think it did I mean I knew most of the pins obviously we only had three rounds so it was kind of big 12s we play four rounds but I figured most of the pins would be where they were so I kind of you know, even in practice rounds, we knew kind of where to where to play, what to practice, and and obviously I played four or five rounds here before this, so I knew where not to miss it on certain pins, and and kind of just aim at the middle of the green. So I think it helped a little bit, but but um, yeah, pretty much just that. And how's it playing in the spirit compared to like uh, just you know NCAA events? Uh, totally different. Obviously, best ball tournament, and you only count birdies basically on the individual. So it was a lot different. And I liked it because. You know, we're in off season and in college, so, and you don't really ever get to play tournaments like this. It kind of frees you up a lot more. You don't have to think about your score fully, so it was a lot more fun. And I feel like that's that's one of the reasons why I had so many birdies as well. You can just kind of fire at the pins more, so. Excellent. So what do you do now? I just wait. <laughs> wait and see what happens. Hopefully it all turns out. Hopefully we get a couple of top threes in, in our team events, and we'll see what happens to the individual spot. So what do you do now after the Spirit? And you're graduating from college, and after the Spirit, where do you do next? Uh, I'll be done. <laughs> Whoa. I'll be done in the spring with college, so I'll, we'll see. I'm, I haven't really thought about it that much, but I have kind of some, some plans in my mind for sure. Uh, hopefully turn pro sometime next year, hopefully right after Nationals, if I play, play well enough this last year. So it'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to that for sure.